Welcome back. Ballpark Cam up and running in Milwaukee. Got some afternoon baseball. Rays Yankees 210 Eastern time. That's 110 local. There's a look at the slide. I saw Cliff Floyd going down it. Uh, and. Oh, and Trisha Whitaker was yeah. also uh, take, taking part in the uh, festivities there. How did Cliff do? It looked like he did all right. He looked nervous. We, As should, should, we be. should ask our next guest. Why is that? If he's ever gone down a slide. That's true. Let's oh, bring in. Gone down Let's bring in Brewers yes, infielder maybe Colton yes. Wong, oh, who uh, joins us now via ballpark cam. Good morning to you, Colton. Have you gone down the slide yet? Unfortunately, I have not gone See? down the slide yet. We had an opportunity, uh, family day, but I was on a rehab assignment, so That's I best. missed my chance. But I'm, I'm going down that slide. I That's promise it. you that. Hey, how significant was last night's win? Uh, obviously, a bit of a bumpy patch for you guys coming in. The importance of last night's yeah. win. Oh, it's huge. I mean, you know, obviously the Rays are, you know, kind of the same situation we're in, you know, good team uh, battling for a spot. So it's, it's huge to get a win uh, anytime you can, especially against a good team like that. Colton, we're going to have fun, but first I'm going to ask you a little tough question here. Okay. But I love yeah. the way Corbin Burns handled the post game last night. He said the Josh Hader mm. trade and our subsequent subsequent play is an easy excuse. He goes, yeah. we just got to play better. We have the guys in here to get it done. Do you kind of echo those sentiments? Absolutely. You know, at the end of the day, we're all big league baseball players. You know, obviously Josh was a key part of this organization for a long time, a uh, key part of this team and, you know, definitely a leader on this team. But like everything, you know, everything continues to go, continues to grow. And, you know, we know how good we can be. Uh, you know, we got Taylor Rogers. We got a lot of good guys that came in, as you saw last night, Matt Bush. I mean, it's it's a good group of guys and we're excited to see how we can do. You know, obviously, like he said, you know, that's not an excuse we want to live by. Uh, we know we're a good team. We just got to go out there and execute like we are. Yeah. Colton, back in uh um, St. Louis this weekend. I remember when you left, you penned a beautiful letter to the fans. It meant a lot to you there. What's it like when you go back? Yeah. Oh, it's always awesome. I mean, it's just like the friendly confines. You know, when you get back, it's like a second home for me. Uh, they gave me an opportunity to, to kind of create this dream of being a baseball player. And, you know, that's something I'll always, you know, just be thankful for them about. So, you know, nothing but good vibes when I go back. And it's always fun to go compete against guys like Wayne, Noah, and Yachty and uh, kind of soak that in as long as they have left. You were in St. Louis, and they have a certain approach to at-bats, right? And then when you went to the Brewers, I feel like they, correct me if I'm wrong, wanted a different version of you. How has your approach changed and, and your evolution since your days in St. Louis? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think, you know, as, you know, D-Row can attest, you know, uh, St. Louis is definitely not a hitter's park. Yeah. You know, so it definitely made you understand how to play, you know, a, a different game, you know, and I'm in Milwaukee, uh, this is a hitter's park, you know, so it allowed me to kind of be a little more aggressive, take more chances and, uh, you know, just kind of, I guess, build my game a little more. So, you know, kind of having the mixture too was good for me and, you know, really allowed me to figure out the person and player I can be and be the most consistent. Colton, uh, at this time of the year, how does your body feel? <laughs> He's on a dose pack. Is He's that, not feeling anything. Right feeling right now. I was about to say that. And that's my answer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, it's the August grind, man. I think everybody's body feels <laughs> terrible, you know, but that's why they pay us the big bucks. You know, step out here every single day and perform. And, you know, you figure out ways, that, you know, like D-Rose said, a dose pack is always nice, but, you know, you figure out ways to suck it up and get out there and play. <laughs> you, hey, you can only take two of those a year or you turn into like an alien, supposedly. <laughs> what is a dose oh. pack? You go to stone. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, that pill, the pills, the six, five, four, three, oh. and you feel like Hercules. <laughs> oh, my After God. that bathes. So, oh. Everybody's throwing 90 miles per hour <laughs> taking one of those, man. Colton, take me back. I, I, I coach my kids' 12U team. When I watch you play, you have so much joy, but you're so yeah. fundamentally solid at second base. Like, what are the big things for you, maybe pregame or as a kid, that you did? to just play with that joy one and then be so good with your hands. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, growing up, my dad would always tell me, you know, work hard and practice, enjoy the game. You know, and that's something that I always kind of took with me is, you know, I put in the work as hard as I can and I, I try to push myself as hard as I can during practice because you want to make your mistakes during practice. You know, when you're out there in the field during the game, you want to have fun, compete, and just let the game kind of flow. And, you know, that's been something that I've been living by is, you know, when I'm out there in practice, you know, I take that more serious than I do during the game because in the game it's all reactions. You know, you really can't judge sometimes how the ball is going to take, uh, what kind of hop it's going to take, and, you know, just what's happening during the game. So, you know, I try to be ready in practice, and then when I come to the game, it's just all about having fun and going out and competing. Do you always have those hands? 
Um, you know, I was a catcher my whole life until like literally Ooh. my freshman year of college. So what? I think that ha that helped me a little bit. You know, being able to track balls, uh, being able to frame balls, you know, understanding that. Really? And then I tell everybody, you know, the, the quick dough plays is because when you're a catcher, you know, it's, it's straight from catching, you know, hand to the ear is kind of what they always do talk about. So I try to keep that when I'm turning dough plays and see how fast I can turn them. But, yeah, I was a catcher my whole life. You talk that. about your young years, Colton. I'm so curious about Hawaii. What kind of competition did you play against? What was the scene growing up? Um, it, was, it was a decent scene. Obviously, you know, being in Hawaii, we don't have that much um, – I guess players, you know, when I was growing up, there, you know, obviously you had your high schools and whatnot, but the little leagues were, were very minimal. You know, obviously now I, mean, I think you're seeing the little league world series. You know, these kids are amazing. You know, they're constantly like growing and adapting and uh, just getting better. And I think it's you know baseball starting to take off. You know, obviously with Shane Victorino kind of setting the standard for yeah. all of us. And you know, you look at guys like Kurt Suzuki and you know all these greats that came before us from Hawaii. You know, for us it's just continuing to keep that trend going, keeping the wave going, like we say back in Hawaii. And you know, you're looking at the young guys coming up. You know, you got Isaiah kind of for left You got a lot of young guys in the minor leagues making a push. So I think baseball is definitely taking a step forward in Hawaii. It was it was a little tough at first because football was kind of the main thing in Hawaii mm. growing up. So uh, we're happy to be able to change that a little bit and show kids that there's another route. You know, there's another way to get up and and chase your dreams. I sit next to two people, Colton, that don't like the beach. <laughs> Is that amazing? <laughs> Growing up in Hawaii, I, are you big surfer? Ooh. See, I, I was, I, I, I mingled with you it. Dabbled. But, you know, not the greatest. Yeah, you know, I can stand up, but I really can't shred like the guys do back at home. Uh, it takes a lot of time, man, to be that good. And, you know, for me, like, my time was strictly towards baseball. Really? Uh, I loved baseball since I was a little kid. My dad was a big advocate of me, you know, being a baseball player. And uh, it kind of took my time away from being the surfer that I hoped to be. <laughs> Colton, we're going to show the standings here uh, in the National League Central. Mm -hmm. Obviously, every game at this time of year takes the extra added importance. Lauren mentioned the big series upcoming against the Cardinals. How do you, as, as a group of veterans, approach this time of year, knowing what's at stake and knowing the atmosphere and all the importance that these games carry? Yeah, I think just trying to, t trying to keep the club knowing that this is one game at a time. You know, obviously, you know, we can look at the standings and see how close we are, see, you know, that us and St. Louis are at our top and we're fighting for that chance. But, you know, you got to take it one game at a time. Understand that these games are not easy to come by. Wins are not easy to come by. So let's let's kind of stay locked into the present. Understand that, you know, every game is important. Every at bat is important. Every play is important. So as long as we focus on taking care of our business on, you know, on that given day, uh, we'll be fine. What's Colton Wong having for breakfast today? Oh, I just finished breakfast. Uh, Aaron Ashby actually brought in a little Chick-fil-A for the boys. Okay. Ooh. So we had this little Chick-fil-A breakfast sandwiches, which yeah. is pretty good. A little breakfast And then, uh, you know, yeah, and then and a nice little smoothie I usually go with to kind of top it off. But, you know, I had to cheat and then kind of get myself back to being okay. So Split the it's difference. all good now. What's in the smoothie? Exactly. I have smoothie. Though. Smoothie, I usually go, obviously, protein, little banana, peanut butter. Yeah. Um, you know, just a, not, nothing crazy. I feel like that, that kind of ruined my stomach. So just like the typical banana peanut butter is, is a good way I go. I used yeah. to say that all the time, day game. Here I am, huge cup of coffee, and then I'd slam a Red Bull, and I'd be at second base, like, <laughs> just feeling terrible. Yeah. Why do I continue I to do that? Yeah, Colton, I'm <laughs> lactose intolerant, but I don't, I don't let that stop me. I just power right through it. <laughs> hey, sometimes that's what it's about, baby. Powering that's right. through, that's all. <laughs> hey, man, uh, we appreciate you joining us. Thanks for making time for us. Best of luck the rest of the way. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me on.